Hi everyone, Harry here to talk about an unsavory situation in Texas, uh, where as a result of the way they distribute judges over the landscape of that broad state, uh, you've had litigants and especially the Attorney General of Texas being able to form shop in a really extreme way and target, know that the lawsuits they file are going to go to individual and typically highly conservative judges. Here's what's going on. Texas has four so-called judicial districts, but they are then subdivided uh, into many different, I think it's called divisions. It doesn't really matter, but each of those divisions is staffed. Many of those divisions are staffed by a single judge. And that means if you go to that uh, courthouse and put in a lawsuit, you know what judge is going to get it. Very different from most places in the country where there are many different judges in a given district, at least a few. And so you can't be sure who you're going to get. And the attorney general of Texas, Ken Paxson, has been uh, exploiting this situation for all it's worth. He's filed uh, three different attacks of late against important Biden administration policies and plucking out these special little rural, dusty Texas divisions so that they can draw a, a, a judge they already know who it's going to be. That's, in fact, what ha it's happening in the big abortion case where everyone is uh, holding their breath and worrying that Judge Kaczmarek is going to enter a uh, injunction uh, uh, that that would stop the uh, main method of abortion in this in this country, even though it's only in his little district. Now, the Biden administration is beginning to fight back, but it's tricky. You just can't go into court and say, you know, uh, even though everyone knows it, we know you are a conservative judge and you've been picked for this reason and uh, therefore you should recuse yourself. What instead they do is they're going in now gingerly and saying, for the appearance of justice, really, uh, you should give up this case because the public is thinking that the uh, the system is being really manipulated and that the uh, these very conservative judges, although they, they can't put it just that way, but an individual judge who's likely to rule in one litigant's favor uh, is being plucked out. Of course, that's the exact fact. Everyone knows it. That's what Ken Paxson is doing. That's what other litigants are doing. And it's just bogus. Um, by bogus, I mean it is it is um, inimical to justice and what you think should be happening in a court. It's not bogus in the sense that the rules provide it, that no one's breaking any uh, any laws there, but it really is um, funky and is is in fact, as the DOJ is beginning to say, uh, undermines public confidence in the in the fair administration of justice. So that kind of foreign shopping where you know what judge you're going to get, that's a problem, especially if you combine it with the possibility, and this is just what we're finding on the abortion case, that an individual judge could enter, say, a nationwide injunction. Uh, and so it's just as a happenstance, this isn't why Texas set it up that way. Texas set it up this way so that there would be, the judges would be more dispersed and people would be able to make, go, instead of having to travel hundreds of miles to Dallas or Texas or Austin, could have their own uh, uh, judge in a, in a closer place. So that's how it happened, but it's being exploited in a way that uh, really gives people pause, understandably, uh, because it's uh, specifically um, targeting judges who they know are going to go in a certain way. So that's the basic problem in Texas, and the DOJ is trying gingerly to push back on it. There may need to be a national solution in Congress to actually address it. For now, it's just an eyesore and a potential real problem in individual cases like the abortion case. Um, not not that much to be done about it for not now. There was one case in which DOJ suggested to the judge, maybe you should give this one up, and the judge agreed. But otherwise, the judges have are are keeping it 
And it's, uh, it's something that's just hard to stop, but kind of rank anyway. So, so it's going to continue that, that uh, litigants and the Attorney General of Texas are going to try to select out um, hand-picked, very conservative judges, especially against Biden administration policies, could be anywhere in the country. And I, the basic, and a basic point, if this wasn't obvious, is there's nothing about these little dusty districts in Texas that have anything to do with the lawsuit. So it's, it's they, they're chosen specifically uh, because of who the judge is and for no other other reason. So not a, not a pretty picture. Um, and but not a picture uh, that it looks like we can alter for now, but something to be um, aware of and maybe that Congress should address one of these days. Uh, OK, so there you have it. Uh, Texas uh, lawsuits can be very uh, funky because there's just tremendous uh, form shopping uh, to them. So you always have to have to be aware of it when people are suing down there. All righty. So that it's going to keep happening, though, and we'll 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 focus on as other lawsuits are being brought down in uh, down in the in the heart of Texas. So until then, talk to you later. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video and other Talking Feds content, please take a second to like and subscribe. Talk to you later.